So here we have a rack and pinion, rack, pinion. It will take rotary motion and turn it into linear. So you can think about going right to left, forward, backwards, or if you put this up vertical, it's gonna take it up and down. All right, the parts we have. We have some slide trucks that are attached to the plate. They are the guide rails for this slide rail. We've got two, one at each end. Okay. And then we've got our gear with some bushings on both sides and some collars to keep this in place. Now I probably needed to put spacers in here because this moves around a little bit. So look at that. Um, you got to decide whichever gear size you want to use, but you also have to get it in the right place so that the gears mesh in there. If they don't mesh, we're not moving. And the rack part, the rack part is the slide rail, the long one or the short one. And there, the rack is attached by the metal screws, the screws there for the motors. Now, you do want to get these guides far away because if you notice here, it, it's not going in. It's because the screw heads are hitting each other. The metal, the, the gold metal ones and the black metal ones are hitting each other. So that's going to stop us from doing very much. So get those far enough apart so that your motion is out of their range. Yeah, come on. Get it on. And there we go. Rotational taken to linear. That is a rack and pinion. Oh, and this is mounted down onto the base plate, obviously. So some kind of support for a gear at the right height so that the gear meshes into the rack and then slide rails to guide our slide.